Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, Insane Trilogy. I have a private uh, file for my... So I've already beat this level before, I just really hate this, so that's why I'm halfway through it already before recording, is because this is the worst level that I've played so far. It is my hardest level. From the level all day crash. So, um, I've decided to revert to classic controls for the majority of Crash 1 levels. <laughs> Crash, you didn't need to put it up there. Crash. Crash, what's your problem, man? Yeah, you can see it's on the right. Um, there, there's the private file that I use, um, specifically, um, for just any time I just want to play it without, um, recording. <laughs> I think I had a lot of I think I had a bit of trouble with this one before, but let's... Now that I know the level, um, yeah. So you, I only played ahead by a few, honestly. It's really just an account to mess around on. We can't waste our Uka Uka. I believe I'm. I believe that was his name. I. Oh God. We're about to come up on a level that I really, really don't enjoy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can hit those guys away. Since the timing section. It, those are crystals. Um, I don't know, it just feels like the, cl the typical control is just not sensitive enough. <laughs> like, look what I mean, I'm gonna jump. Ready, I'm gonna jump to the left. I'm just gonna just jump to the right and nudge it a bit. Versus if I tap it with the other thing, Look. It goes far enough. <laughs> this part isn't actually that hard, I just... I'm in a bit of trouble with it, that's okay. I know I didn't do that right. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can't get all the boxes in this level, I don't think. Yeah, there's just three boxes, and then there's, like, no boxes after this. So I would, I think it has to do with the waterfall, but with an alternate path. <laughs> I'll tell you looks around there, like, is there any more? Whereas when you get hit by like 53 boxes, he's like, oh, oh my god, I can't take this anymore. Papu Papu! Very easy, very easy boss. Uh, it took me a bit <laughs> to um, figure it out, but i just get that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the easiest boss, I think, to speedrun. I got cocky on that one. Yeah. 
Loki is laughably easy here. Then watch. Boop. Boop. <laughs> but not for the boss fight, which is really weird. I like that. Thing plays Coco, which, uh, from what I've seen, changes nothing. <laughs> but, um, you get to play as Coco in, in uh, Crash 1. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna load this one and uh, save it over um, to we're not gonna skip anything. Okay, we just we're just gonna do Rolling Stones now. All right. She doesn't have a higher jump. She doesn't have a different spin. You can't belly flop. You can't do nothing different. It's just an alternate style. Okay, Rolling Stones isn't that bad. So we can do time travel. So we've already beat the stage. So, version, but and again, also she just carries her laptop around because that's totally this is exactly where we want to do that. Yeah, I got one of those. I don't. I don't really know why. Little shop. Yeah, there's a little shop of horrors reference actually with those guys. I think I've mentioned it before though. <laughs> Where um, uh, I believe the achievement's called Feed Me, uh, which is from Little Shop of Horrors, which is because that's what the um, that's because the, they it looks like the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Like Seymour 2 or whatever? I don't remember what they named him. The trouble wasn't actually that hard. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with that. It wasn't even... I don't even think this was near Kitter Chris's list of, um, worst Platinums to get. But, you know what? I thought it was also including, like, DLC and stuff, which... Yes, they did make hard DLC levels. You know, I'm gonna... Okay, wait, I'm just gonna just do that for now. Okay. We're gonna switch back to the D-pad for now. Not D-pad. It's not... Wait, let's get into it. Dang it. I think checkpoint crates kind of crates. No holds barred. Alright. Now, is that worth it? Yes. <laughs> okay, that was very cheap. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess if you hit it wrong. Okay, that's just gonna light that as well. So, let's not be there when it does. Yep, there we go. You can tell this level took me quite a few attempts because of how I'm doing it right now. And now you can tell why it's taken me, why it took me a few attempts. Yeah, when it looks like I know a level, that tells you how much time I took on it. Or just how easy it is to memorize, but yeah. I got a few game overs on this one. 
Um, now is it cheating to skip past the levels? Well, I forgot to save on the last one. So, no, it's not cheating. And I forgot to remember what time it was when we started this episode, so, um... Yeah, no, we're not going to reach I yet. We're just going to move on. <laughs> I think we'll, we're going to skip Hog, Hog, Hog Wild because I have nothing interesting to say. So now we can just continue. And now we are... Yeah, so let's do this one, which has taken me a bit, but yes, I do have to use the classic controls on this one too. But I think that also shows that they were quite faithful to the original, so you have to use the original controls, I mean, come on. Also, those are apparently champions too, uh, when they're not on fire. Okay, let's try to hit this. You're gonna wanna hit them ahead of time. This level basically taught you how to, uh... Whoops. Not get scared when that's a flame. <laughs> oh, sometimes the hitbox on it is a bit cheap. <laughs> Rib for a checkpoint. All right, at least it was like right after a checkpoint too. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna end this here. <laughs> 